So we've already talked about the cost of the materials and the importance of a reference. Before you make a fursuit head, please watch the reference video because it's very important and it's rarely talked about. Today we're going to be talking about lining the inside of a fursuit head. I like lining the inside right away in the bucket head stage and I use spandex or lycra and when I'm done with the head I like to sew the end of the balaclava to the fursuit neck and I like lining the heads with lycra because it wicks away moisture and sweat from the foam on the inside of the head. It also keeps you a little bit cooler. It makes the inside easy to clean. It makes the head a little bit more comfortable to wear and it also helps make the head look a little bit more finished. And this is the method that I'll be using for this tutorial series. But I do also want you to know that there are other methods. For example, matrices like to finish their foam base first and then they hollow out the inside and they tailor the lining to fit on the inside of the head. And they use a quilted broadcloth instead of a balaclava material. And a link to that is in the description if you want to check it out. Some people will also make a pattern for the inside of their bucket heads by taping it up and using that for the pattern. And then they'll use a pattern fabric to line the inside of the head instead of a balaclava material. And this example is from Mocha on Fursuit Maker Amino. So if you want to check out their tutorial, I'll put a link in the description for that too. So there are a lot of different ways to line the inside of a fursuit head and lots of different material that you can use to line it. So be sure to research and experiment with the different methods to see which one you prefer. And some people don't like lining the inside of their fursuit head, so that's another possibility that you might look into. Alright, so now back to the tutorial on my method. And by the way, I didn't come up with this method. I'm using the method from this tutorial right here. And even though there's already a tutorial on this method, I want to make sure that I don't skip over any part of me making this high enough pre-made. So for this method, you can buy a balaclava or you can make your own, which is what I prefer. So I'm going to show you how I make one. This is a very simple process, but I want to go over it in case someone has no idea what they're doing. This is a yard of lycra that I got for $12, and there should be plenty for at least four balaclavas. So what we're going to do is fold it. And the folded edge is going to be the front part of the balaclava where your face goes. We don't want a seam there. If you already have a balaclava, you can use that as a guide for the shape. There's a few things to keep in mind. You're going to want it to be round at the top for the shape of the head. You're going to want it to be long enough to go down to your neck. And you just want it to be wide enough to cover all of the inside of the head to whatever circumference you're making the head to be. And sometimes the fabric has a slightly different texture from one side to the other. So that's something to take note of and decide which one you want to be on the inside of the head. And whatever side you want to be on the inside, sew it so that it's already on the inside because we're not going to be turning this inside out because we want the seam to be on the outside so that it's not disturbing the wearer. I want the hyena pre-made to fit a head of up to 24 inches in circumference. So I'm making the width of the balaclava about 12 inches so that it will be able to fill up the entire circumference inside of the head. And I really don't want there to be a lot of stretching going on when I'm gluing the balaclava inside because it might distort the bucket head a little bit so I really want to make it to size and I also don't want the head to be really tight around the person wearing it so this balaclava is really being used to just line the inside of the bucket head it's not really holding the head tightly around the person wearing it so when you wear the fursuit you should have a little bit of room inside of the head. And now I can go ahead and either hand sew or machine sew. And machine sewing is just faster, so I'm doing that. And now that we're done with this, we can move on to a bucket head. So that's how I make a balaclava. In the next video, I'm going to make a bucket head for the hyena pre-made that will have a static jaw. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.